All right, so today I'm going to be showcasing the best tank in the game, not even joking. And that is the yellow Kirishima. He's an SR character. Yeah, the best tank in the game is an SR character. You don't believe me? I will show you why he is the best tank in the game, okay? So let's get into the details of the card and you might see why, all right? So he's plus ultra, 450% damage to a single enemy at level two and cuts damage received on self by 40% for two turns. So pretty much a 50% damage reduction for using a plus ultra, okay? That enough is already a insanely tanky. Next, he's action skill number one. 225% damage to a single enemy, deals additional 35% damage if the enemy has a crit rate debuff. Okay, pretty cool. I mean, as uh, he's, he's a tanky, he's not supposed to be a damaging unit, okay? Don't worry about that. It's just free damage. Then his second action skill here, taunts enemies for two turns. When used in a chain and it succeeds, cut damage taken by 30% for two turns. He's already got two damage reductions in his kit. And you can stack these together, by the way. It's quite insane. For a total, right now, I could get a 75% damage reduction. Crazy. And not only that, his auto skill number one is kind of busted too. It's kind of nice. Increases 1A student's power by 10% at level one, which is awesome. And then the topping on the cake, at the start of the wave, cut damage received by 20% on self for three turns. Theoretically, if you have the plus ultra gauge maxed out, you get 20%, 30%, 50%, 45%. Literally, for one, you can take almost zero damage just because you lined up all of the passives and auto skills and plus ultras correctly. As an SR character, that is insane. Not only that, in the previous events with the Endeavor and Hawks event, you actually received free shards for this man. I know in that event, it was very stamina heavy, but if you did farm at least the stages, you actually get him to the level 75 cap, which is what I got him to. And with that, I have him on the fourth table. And you do, if you want that 1A student buff, you kind of want him to get to the six tables. So it's a 15% power support for 1A students, which is awesome. Also, if you guys don't know where to purchase this man, because he's actually not a summonable unit, he is in the USJ store. You can purchase him right here for 3,000 USJ coins. I definitely think he is worth it, especially because he's a boosted character in VE Tower. And speaking of VE Tower, let's get into the gameplay of him versing VE Tower, because that's where he's the most useful in. Okay, so we're going to be doing Difficulty S versus Shigaraki. And we are going to be running a full yellow team and a full 1A student team. Just so everybody gets the buff here. And he's going to be the main tank for this team. We are running SR Jiro as well as the UR Deku, the shoot style Deku. Instantly, we activate the taunt so nobody here can take a hit. Jiro and Deku are very, very fragile. So we want them to live as long as possible since they're very useful skill wise. And he took like a thousand damage. That is nothing. And with Jiro here, Jiro can actually heal. So that's actually really useful as well. Keeping our tanker alive. He still did 11,000 damage, which is great. And the skill did max 5,000 damage, which is nothing. Absolutely nothing. Heal up the Kirishima because he is the lowest on HP. And you get his plus ultra. So that he gets the barrier. And his plus ultra here does 20 something thousand, which is cool, very good for a tank, I will say. Very, very good for a tank. The unfortunate part is that his cooldown for his taunt is very, very long. The taunt only lasts for two turns, and the cooldown for the taunt skill is five turns. So it's like three turns where you kind of really like vulnerable especially if you're using this kind of team but if Juro could activate confusion it would help but she didn't actually act oh she actually did activate it but anyway we got our taunt back 
So back to healing up Kirishima and providing taunt and let Deku do his thing for damage. Three thousand damage, bro. This guy is taking zero damage. I swear. All right, plus Ultra means he gets that extra bit of damage reduction. Five down, five hundred damage for a normal attack. Absolutely nothing. doing some chip damage that's the only issue is that he yeah his skill cooldowns takes forever but just in time before the actually it doesn't even matter unfortunately the plus ultra here is a one-shot guarantee no matter how much damage reduction you have and how healed up you are shigaraki will always do 99,999 damage so that was just unlucky there but he technically was the tank of the team right he took the hit where no one else could. You know, knowing that Kirishima was going to die is probably the best thing. But anyway, that is the SR free Kirishima from the USJ store. Really, really good tank. Very useful in this current season of VE Tower versus the Shigaraki boss. As he has the type advantage damage. So make sure you use him. Especially if you did the event. You might have some shards for him. So make sure you upgrade his purple table. But with that said, that is going to wrap up today's video. If you did enjoy today's video, make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. We have daily MHA Ultra Impact videos. Check out links in the description to my social medias, as well as how to start playing the Japanese version of this game if you are interested in it and you don't want to wait for the global version. But anyway, I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Until then, stay healthy, stay safe, stay fizzy. Peace out.